The Gulf of Mexico, 600,000 square miles of blue waters as far as the eye can see. But the basin floor can be an inhospitable host to marine life. Specifically in the Gulf of Mexico and especially off Louisiana, we're a heavy mud bottom. There's not a lot of hard structure. That's changing. 90 miles from the Louisiana coast, the bottom of the Gulf of Mexico is a vibrant, diverse, and thriving marine ecosystem. These platforms are attracting fish in these huge numbers. A reef platform becomes you know, kind of an underwater city. Cougar, once one of Shell's most prolific oil platforms, will now be a new marine metropolis. Cougar's future, it's going to be the home to a pretty large and diverse amount of uh, fish and sea life. We took the ST301 platform and, and jacket and turned it into an artificial reef. Shell is donating the platform steel frame or jacket to the Louisiana Artificial Reef Program. It's not reverse engineering uh, by any stretch of the imagination. It's poetry in motion. They slide completely over the platform and then they lift it and then they slide over the barge and they sit it down. They have to lift it up 20, 30, 40 feet, so it's free to be able to tow it to the reefing area. Shell's Cougar platform helped define the outer limits of the Gulf of Mexico, a steel monument to human ingenuity and innovation that pioneered a new wave of offshore oil and gas development. Not only do we put our heart and soul into building and, and producing and operating these facilities. The fact that the Cougar facility now has become a part of the ecosystem that we call home is really something for us to be proud of. Cougar to me is like an old friend that has been very productive and is getting ready to retire. And it's time for them to go on to greener pastures. <laughs>